Hello, my name is Jonathan Tobin with the University of Hawaii, and this poster concerns inferring UAV position relative to smartphone sensors based on acoustic characteristics. Unmanned aerial vehicles, or UAVs, pose concerns to nuclear non-proliferation efforts. UAVs have the ability to transport and deliver external loads, which may contain explosives or other sensitive materials. UAVs also have the ability to equip a variety of sensors that may be used for reconnaissance activities or communication interruptions, to name a few. Utilizing commercial off-the-shelf systems, such as smartphones, to both collect and analyze data will help augment current sensing systems and enable ad hoc distributed networks. Whether with a single sensor or a network of sensors, Determining source position is vital, and this work presents initial efforts to infer a UAV position relative to a smartphone sensor from acoustic data recorded on a smartphone. In collaboration with Idaho National Laboratory, UAV flight tests were conducted at the INL runway. These tests utilized a DGI Matrice 600 hexacopter and eight Samsung Galaxy S8s as audio sensors. The phones were placed directly on the ground in protective casing. For the purposes of this poster, only a small segment of the flight is utilized, about 110 seconds in total, and data from three of the eight total phones are presented. The UAV flight path and smartphone locations during that flight may be visualized in the figure on the bottom left of the poster. Short time Fourier transforms were generated for 30 second long waveforms and were recalculated every one second to simulate the arrival of new data. From the STFT outputs, the max values in two targeted frequency bands, 100 to 125 hertz and 200 to 250 hertz, are extracted for each time bin. Multi-rotor UAVs produce both broadband and tonal sound. Each rotor produces harmonics in its acoustics with fundamental frequencies governed by the rotational speed of the rotor and the number of blades on the propeller. From an empirical investigation of the data, we found the fundamental frequencies typically were between 100 and 125 hertz for this flight and that corresponds to a second harmonic of 200 to 250 hertz. Once those max values are extracted, an eight degree polynomial is fit to the max value versus time plot for each band. From that, the final four seconds corresponding to the poly polynomial is used to estimate the slope of each curve. The slopes are then used to determine whether the UAV is heading towards or away from the sensor. An increase in the slope typically means the power in that frequency band is increasing, and thus we assume the UAV is moving towards the phone. The opposite is true for a decreasing slope. The slopes in both bands are compared to one another, as well as previous states, to determine direction namely towards or away from the sensor. Initial results for three phones can be viewed in the center figure on the poster. The orange line corresponds to the true position of the UAV relative to that smartphone. The blue dot represents the predicted value as we move forward in time. We can see that this method reasonably matches the pattern of the true UAV movement, though slightly over predicts when the UAV changes direction relative to the smartphone. However, this does show the viability of this method and the accuracy will continue to improve as the logic used to compare slopes improves and as the data becomes better constrained. This work has also continued the demonstration of the viability of using smartphones as acoustic sensors and helps contribute to nonproliferation efforts through development of methods for acoustic source detection and characterization. MTV has allowed 
an avenue for collaboration between the University of Hawaii at Manoa and Idaho National Laboratory, and further collaboration is planned with upcoming data collections. Thank you very much.